want to welcome you today. My name's Scott. I'm the campus pastor here at Resonate in Fremont. And I know every Sunday there are people who walk in the doors for the first time. And we want to say welcome. We're glad that you've come. There's actually a connect card in front of all of you. You guys can pull those out anytime you want. Fill those out. It's a way for you to let us know how we could be praying for you and how we could connect with you. But if you've walked in today, you've actually walked into something that is beautiful, an amazing chapter of our history of our church, that we're celebrating the dreams that God has given us, the prayers we've been praying. And that dream, we're calling it this year, By Grace. And it's going from April of 2019 to April of 2020, believing that God is calling us to give up our lives so that growth and fruit and spiritual life could happen in our city. And you've walked into the middle of this. We want to give you something to celebrate. We want to share what God's been doing and what's been happening so you can celebrate along with us. We, we have been dreaming and praying, and God is fulfilling those prayers. He is making them realized by his grace. Uh, Ten years ago, we launched this church, and when we started out, uh, we were looking for a building. So we actually went to a place that had like 8,000 square feet, and we were praying and like walking around it, like asking God, would you give this to us? And the answer was no. And then that happened again 66 more times throughout the course of the past 10 years. We've been asking God for a place that we could call home and the answer each time for whatever reason, no, 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 until now. We now have a facility and we are only a few weeks away from moving to our permanent home as a church, right? It's it's amazing. It's amazing that God's done that. And not only that, part of the By Grace vision is sacrificial giving, believing that for the cost of that building and the renovation, God was calling us to sacrifice and to see $5.5 million raised by us through the grace of God over the course of this year. I want to show you a graph that just shows what that looks like. That means $100,000 each week needs to come in for us to be on target for that, and God has been doing that. It's moving up and down, but we are so close to that giving level that we had prayed for, and we see God making this dream into a reality. And this is not normal. It's not normal. As a matter of fact, whenever there's a building project of this size and scope, there are always problems that happen, 100% of the time. It's never smooth, okay? And, and so whenever those problems come, what, what takes place? There's a church, there, a, like a friend of ours that's in Colorado. They were doing a, 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 a size and scale about the same as this building project. They thought it would be $2 million, but by the end, it cost $4 million. There was another one in SoCal, good friends of ours. What they started out to do, it didn't take them one year to do it, and it ended up taking them three years to complete the project. And at Resonate 2, you don't know it, but there have been problem after problem as we've been trying to renovate this facility. And we don't share all of that, but the people who are the closest to what's going on with the building are seeing insurmountable, impossible problems, and then they're watching God keep his promise and do what we could not do. And so it's normal. There's actually a company, a consulting firm that does studies looking at when you're doing a building project of this size, what's sort of normal? You know, what your budget was and then what you actually spent. And they concluded in 2016 a study that it's normal for churches to go 80% beyond what they had originally projected, 80% beyond And it's inevitable, resonate, we too have gone beyond, but this is what God's done. It's not 80%, it's only 5.9% over, right? That's crazy. And that, that means, like, like, these are some things we couldn't even plan. The, there was actually a law that changed between when we started and when we finished, and that meant we had to tear apart sidewalks and spend hundreds of thousands of dollars that we could not have anticipated. It meant structural things like the seismic retrofitting for some beams had to be fabricated in a way we weren't anticipating. All of those things would make an insurmountable increase, but instead through stewardship and through God's faithfulness, 5.9%, it, over, that's all. And those who see it the most clearly are going, that's a miracle. Like, that's absolutely a miracle. And it's not just that God used a construction crew to do it. He's used us as a church. There's a family at Resonate. They own a flooring company. God put it on their heart to sacrificially give, and they donated the flooring for all the office, all the res kids spaces, all that. At sacrifice to themselves for the glory of God, right? <laughs> sacrifice to themselves for the glory of God. And this is the vision of by grace. If you remember, Pastor Ryan said, John 12, 
It's Jesus' words. Unless a kernel of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it abides alone. But if it dies, it brings forth much fruit. And that means that these people who sacrifice for that flooring in our res kid space, do you know, every child who will ever be in those rooms, who ever hears the gospel and ever comes to Christ, all of those, they are like moral owners of that. They've invested in how eternity is going to look different because of the sacrifice of that family. And there's more still for you to be a part of. You see, we're close to the completion of the facility, but there's still a lot of work to be done. We don't need your help painting, okay? We've got a crew, they're going to paint. That's not the kind of work. The kind of work that's left is spiritual. It's spiritual and it's missional. It's that this good news, this treasure would go out and that those who've never known the love of God would be transformed. And God wants to use you to do that. He wants to use you. And so we have spiritual work ahead of us. One of the ways we're going to do that spiritual work, once we get the occupancy permit for this building, the first thing we're going to do before we ever have a worship service there, we're going to take the word of God. This, this is the platform. That's what the stage looks like right now. We're going to set the word of God open there, and we're going to read from cover to cover every word in the counsel of God. In that space, the entire Bible will be read before a single worship service takes place. The wall's just hearing the full counsel of God. And not only that, we're going to have a Sharpie party. That means before we put the carpeting down, you're invited to come and to write a prayer on the ground, on the concrete. I'm going to find a spot. I'm going to, like, put a prayer where I know a chair is going to be. I'm going to pray for every person that will ever sit in that chair, that their eyes would be opened and their lives would never be the same. And you can do that too. We're going to write them there, like the whole floor littered with this graffiti of all of our prayers. And then we'll put a carpet on top of it, okay? But you'll know it's there because you're a part of what God has done. You're a part at the beginning. And so this is the kind of work that's ahead. I believe that the greatest missional years of Resonate are right in front of us right now. I believe that the greatest kingdom advancement our church will know is taking place right now. You've done so amazing, church. Let's finish strong in our giving, in our praying, in our inviting, in our believing that God wants to use us and our city will never be the same. Do you believe it? Amen. Amen. Would you bow with me? Let's just pray. Let's just pray. God, we, we know it's you. You are the source. You are the way. You're the means and you are the destination. It's all you. Who are we that you would use us? But yet, you have shown us your love, and we know it, and we want the world to know how good you are. And we thank you that you're using us, our poor abilities, to advance your glory, God. And we pray that you would do even more than we're imagining right now. And God, we ask in this room today, this moment, that your word, as it's preached, you would give us ears to hear it. You'd open up our hearts that they would be soft that you would speak your truths to us, we would be changed, we would not be the same when we leave today, so that we could live for your honor and your fame in the world, and that this city will never be the same because of you, Jesus, and for your glory. And it's in your name we pray.